In this exciting video, we're going to do a three month update on our ERV. And also, we're going to do our first filter cleaning. Okay, technically, it's been four months since I installed this ERV. Been very busy. I made a couple videos about spray foam in my house, some of the problems we were having. Somebody recommended that I get an ERV, and voila, $3,000 later, here it is. I did a long DIY install video on this thing, so I'm gonna put a link to some different videos in the description. For the last four months, this ERV has been running 12 hours a day. I have this thing set up on a timer. You can see the timer plugged into the wall over there. So it runs six hours in the morning and six hours at night. At some point, I may switch that to 24 hours a day, but for right now, I think 12 hours a day, it seems to be working good. Right here, I've got the uh, installation and owner's manual, and it says in here to check and clean these filters every three months. So we're a little behind schedule. It's been four months. This thing, it's off right now. So I've got a couple hours. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon and this thing is gonna come on at 5 p.m. So we got a little bit. Let's crack this thing open and take a look. We open this thing up here. Oh yes, beautiful. I'm not gonna get into too much details about how this thing works because I cover that in at least my DIY video, I think, but basically it is pulling in fresh air from outside here, crossing the filter and going into my house there. And then it pulls the dirty and stale contaminated air out of my house here, crosses and goes out there. So this thing has two filters, this blue thing and this thing. We're gonna pull those out and vacuum them and then we're gonna pull this thing out too. We had to move our high-tech lighting system around here. So now you can see this filter. This is the one where it's pulling in outside air and it is absolutely disgusting. Lots of uh, bugs and dust. That's pretty gross. Uh, by the way, yeah, my attic is a mess right now. I usually keep it very clean. It's one of the benefits of having spray foam. I like my attic to be nice and clean, and it's very comfortable in here, like temperature controlled. But, uh, yeah, we got a roof leak, which is awesome. I didn't know I had one because of the spray foam. Pretty sure I just posted a video about this roof leak. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Now, this other filter, it's more dusty. No bugs. Th Ew, that's really dusty. So this is the, the one that's coming from the house. It's pulling air out of the house, pulling a lot of dust out of the house, I guess. So that thing is, uh, oh, you can't, oh, there we go. Yeah, that's, that's nice. A lot of dead gnats and stuff in here. There's actually a little spider web in here too. Okay, and this big core thing, yeah. This big thing here, it slides. I think once a year you're supposed to soak this thing. But for right now, we're just gonna pull it out and we're gonna vacuum this thing. We are all set up in our professional cleaning studio here. We're gonna try to vacuum these things. Now this thing is really gross. I've been planning on ordering some extra, these little filters. I need to do that because then I could just open it up, throw the new ones in, and then clean these later when I have time. But, of course, I haven't done that yet. Now this here, it's very, you can probably see it, it's very dusty. It was kind of silver and white, but it's very dirty. So we're going to try to vacuum this thing out, too.
I feel like this core, it vacuumed pretty good, but this thing is very delicate. It's kind of like a car radiator. These little fins here are bent very easy. Maybe you can see like right here, I bent one. I guess I need to straighten that out. That might mess up the airflow or something. I don't know, but I was trying to be very gentle and delicate with this thing. I can see I've bent, I bent some up. Now these, not happy at all. We got all the bugs off, but they're still pretty nasty. This is the one that was coming from the house and it just had dust on it and it didn't even, like it got some of it, but not enough. It is so humid out here. I think what we're gonna try to do is use this water hose and just spray these off and see if we can get them clean. The water hose is the way to go. These look really good. This one here is the one that was pulling in air from outside. It still has a little bit of dark staining on the edges, but I am well pleased with this. I'll leave these outside for a while to dry. While our filters are drying outside, we're gonna go ahead and give this ERV unit here a good wipe down. Got a bunch of little gnats in here. Look like we got some, some dust. I think you could see that. And these things are kind of dusty. A vacuum is outside, so we're just gonna sweep these bugs out of here. A little spider right there. This thing feels foam like a styrofoam cooler. We got all the bugs out and I'm gonna use this uh, just a little bit, this cleaner, some natural cleaner. Try not to put any kind of chemicals like bleach or any kind of harsh chemicals in here. And see that, that worked pretty good there. Yeah, there's like dust built up in here. I'm happy with that. I used very little cleaner. I think I only sprayed it like three times. It was mostly just wiping, wiping out bugs and dust. Even these little fan blades were just covered in dust. I'll probably give this thing a more thorough cleaning once a year. That's, that's kind of what the directions say. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this cover now. Got a lot of dust on it. This thing is clean and ready to go, but the filters are not dry yet, so it's gonna be a little while. We're gonna to have to let those dry. It's 2.45 in the afternoon. The timer is set to kick this thing on at five. So if I don't have it back together, it does have a little safety switch right here. So with this door open, it should not come on. While these filters continue to dry, we're gonna talk about the ERV and how it's been working the last four months. It's been working good. The house, to me, it feels fresher. It doesn't feel as humid and damp in here. The, it doesn't feel funky. It smells better in the house. If you watched my, some of my other videos and you, you heard about the complaints, then you would know what I'm talking about. Also, I was complaining that the vent hood over the stove was not working. It wasn't drawing or pulling air. Like if you're boiling water, it wasn't pulling it out of the house. That works great now. The bath fans, well, I removed those and hooked those to the ERV, but it, the, the bathrooms, they feel better in the house. The laundry room, I tied onto the ERV. So many problems that we had, I feel like they've kind of been solved by this ERV. The only thing I'm not sure about is the fireplace because I think I, when I installed this thing in like May or June, anyway, it's not been cold enough to have a fire. So right now it's September. Here in a couple months, we'll have our first fire and hopefully we will see that the fireplace is gonna draw better and not fill the house up with smoke. What about the power consumption and our power bill? Honestly, I have no idea. I have not noticed any kind of change in the power bill. In the installation video I talk about, this thing has two DC motors and it only draws like 0.2 or 0.3 amps. It really doesn't use a lot of power. 
my power bill fluctuates anyway based on i guess how much we use the air conditioner and maybe how much my little dehumidifier is running in the basement i mean i, I really haven't noticed a big difference on the power bill the last thing we're going to talk about with this is going to be humidity so this thing does not remove humidity as far as i know now here on the ground i've got this little bucket right here this has actually got like a drain in it um at some point we'll spin over here there's my hvac system at some point i'm gonna tie the erv onto that condensate line right there i haven't done that yet i mean i don't really need to because this thing i've got this bucket here and i've got this uh well let's just show you see there's a drain on the bottom there if you see that little hose and any condensation fills up in here and drains and it will you know go in the bucket well this thing stays dry i've never seen any water in here so my house has got humidity for sure i've got a dehumidifier in the basement a little portable one i've shown before it runs i dump it out pretty much every day i do plan on installing a whole house dehumidifier now i've got two hvac systems I'm at least going to put it on the main floor. I think those things are like $1,000 to $1,500 a piece. So in the other spray foam video, I was complaining about like towels not getting dry when they were hanging up in the bathroom. Honestly, I feel like that has gotten better. I think just the fresh flowing air now, the air is always moving through the house. I feel like the towel situation, you got to go watch that spray foam video if you want to know what I'm talking about. But the towel situation and, and hanging clothes, like you would hang clothes in the house and they would never dry. I feel like that situation has gotten better, but, you know, it's not great. It's not as good as other houses I've lived in. So, we will put in a whole house dehumidifier when we can. We're going to slide this core back into the ERV. These blue filters are finally dry. I actually used a hair dryer because they were taking forever. So about 10 minutes with a hair dryer. And they look pretty good. They look better than I thought they would. So we're gonna slide these back in there. Close our door. It is 5.30 and the ERV is running. I'm sure it kicked on at five o'clock with the timer. I was gonna come up here and uh, watch it kick on, but I completely forgot about it. Been busy working on other stuff. Good news is uh, the filters are clean. I guess we're set to go for another three months. You can see here the uh, little green light. That's a control panel there. The green light is on. And uh, so we'll give another update. Uh, we'll give a six month update. So by then it should be some cold weather and we'll run the fireplace. We'll see if that thing is drawing better. If you made it this far in my video, thanks for watching.